Is it videoing? Yes. Oh yeah, mate. Welcome to Jada and Bianca's vlog squad. Erin's in the background. <laughs> so we were like, we need to make something awesome, crazy. I'm gonna dance for him. You can't probably see me though. Okay, get that. Hi, um, welcome to my 21st and what happened when I turned 21. Hey guys, my name is Jada and I wanted to tell you guys about my 21st, what we did, show a little bit of some photos, some videos and just kind of talk about it a bit. Traditionally, I'm not a person who awfully cares too much about 21st or 18th or throwing a big celebration about my life or me because I hate talking about myself a lot, which is quite ironic considering I've been running a YouTube channel for so long. But I decided to spin this a little bit differently. I used my 21st to talk about how much I love all of my friends. And I know that's such a selfless thing or whatever, but I wouldn't be who I am without my friends. I love them all so much and they mean so much to me. And so I spent apparently 25 minutes ranting about them and just being so thankful to all of them. They all have helped me in so many different ways and I'll show you some snippets of the speech a little bit later on, but um, I'm surprised I didn't cry. <laughs> but before we get to the speech, let's talk about beforehand. Beforehand was absolutely chaotic. It was, like I honestly didn't think this party was gonna happen. There was just was so much that happened and I was just kind of ready to cancel it and then but, you know, it happened. <laughs> Everyone rocked up looking beautiful and stunning. It was a medieval party because I am the medieval queen in my group. So everyone dressed up and was dressed either as like queens or kings or knights or peasants or maidens or whatever. And it was so fun. Once everyone was here and we were chilling for a little bit, they all handed me the presents, which some of them I opened and then some I opened later in the night. We then all got together and went to an escape room. Now the escape room was a Bermuda escape because unfortunately I couldn't get the wizard one, which would have been so cool, but that's okay. Um, so we were split into four groups of four because there was 18 of us. Is that right? Four, eight, 12, 16 of us. 16 of us, I can't do math. It was originally supposed to be 18, but two of them canceled on me. That's, that wasn't stressful at all. Um, it's okay, but um, we separated into four groups of four and then battled against each other. So essentially what it was is that two groups of the four would be in two separate rooms and we had to fight to see who would get out of the room the quickest. So one of them you had to like solve all the puzzles and if you solved it, the last one you had to open the door to get into the other room to like kill them. So it was a lot of fun. We did that for an hour and everyone got a free drink as part of the drinks package. That was super cool. And then we all got a taxi back to the house where we were led by the side gate of our house, met by the squire, my father who took us around the back and we had this beautiful banquet type of dinner. It was a three course meal where we just had roast and just very stereotypical like meals of the medieval times. We had pies, we had, you know, all of these things and it was so good. And in between like the entrees main desserts, we did a game about me, which I hated, but everyone got it right, which made me really shocked. Cause to be honest, I was really expecting people to get it wrong, but we had that, we had my speech and I showcased a video of everyone in it and just kind of showcasing different things of it. I can't really play that because that has copyright music but it's just a bunch of different photos. And we danced the narrative away. Erin and my friend Dakota, they played music together and played on the guitar and they sung and I did my speech and nearly cried. I had to have Aaron stand next to me. Also because I couldn't see and I didn't have my glasses on so that didn't really help either. But you know, we did that and then um, everyone was writing in my book, which I'll show you guys later. And then, <laughs> um, as you can see by this clip here, 
I may got pie in the face, which was my pure entertainment. I've been wanting that for so many years. So bless you, mum, for hitting me in the face with whipped cream. That was really fun and I enjoyed that. <laughs> um, but then before that had happened, actually, I was knighted. Um, because for people who don't know this, to be knighted, you have to have a knight knight you. And without going into details, my dad has that. I don't know how, but he has that. So I have official documents by England to be a lady. And I cried. I straight up cried. That was my tipping point. Being called like Lady Jada, or I could be Lady or Dame, which is the female version of a knight. If you guys have known me for as long as you have, or anyone in general, I've always wanted to be a knight. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be the knight in shining armor. I hold chivalry so high. And the fact I was a dame now means I am a knight. I cried, I sobbed, I just was in tears. I was in utter tears. It was so good and everyone seemed to have so much fun and we only took a couple of photos because we were just too busy having a lot of fun. And then, you know, people kind of went home when they wanted to, some stayed the night and when they woke up the next day, you know, before we went to bed, we did play Just Dance because we are peasants <laughs> at the end of the day. But, you know, we woke up and had pancakes and it was just a lot of fun. And I would love, I love doing parties, like dress up parties in general. I think they're really entertaining. But that was the first time in a long time where I felt something was truly mine. And it's because it was all like themed medieval. Medieval such as like a concept I hold so dearly to my heart. And I was always afraid that I was never allowed to show that. And so not only could I show it off, but I got to do it with all my friends and some family and just my loved ones. I just was so happy. <laughs> like I just, oh my God, it made my heart swell so much. Like I didn't really care to be honest if anyone got me presents or not. I was happy just that people showed up, you know, even if people were late, even if people were early, if they left early, if they didn't leave until 3 p.m. the next day, I didn't care. People were around it, it made me happy. I I know that, you know, people are like, oh, why would you throw a 21st if you're not about it? I think it was the last hurrah from my mum. And, you know, she, she really wanted to do it. I kind of wanted to do it and dad didn't really mind. And because it's the last kind of major party, for me anyway, until either I get married or engagement party or bridal showers or, you know what I mean? More like adult shit that I need a partner first, but like, you know what I mean? Or like my thirties or my fifties or that type of stuff. But I just wanted to kind of showcase my 21st and I want to remember it. I use this channel as a way to remember things. So here are some of the photos and videos of my 21st. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Jada, happy birthday to you. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip!
Yeah. Yeah. I was like, real sword. I don't know. Chunky. She lost weight though. I mean, to be honest, I hit away. Yeah, I think my dog gained weight. Um, segment of May 21st. I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to showcase a little bit about it and I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe I'll do a video in the future kind of showcasing a bunch of different uh, parties that I throw. So like, so we've done like the Avatar, the last airbender party. We've got Halloween coming up. Um, and, or actually, yeah, Halloween's coming up soon. We've got so many different parties that we like to throw that we all dress up. So I might chuck a couple of photos uh, on there and just kind of make a whole video out of it. We'll see. But I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please chuck it in the comment section below. I love answering questions. Um, anything like that. And if you want to use the email as well, I know some of you have used it already to email us just some questions or queries or tell us about a story. That would be amazing. Any stories or questions that you have through the email will be answered on a podcast. So just so you're aware. Thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye everyone. <laughs>